Alright. Back at it. I'm gonna get my revenge this time, Red. You got so me last time. This is it? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get my revenge. No, I wouldn't be so sure about that. I am sure about that. I would be so sure about that. Yeah, we'll see. I know you're a big fan of that deck, but I'm just gonna outstat you. The pure Alpine stats. Oh. Okay. And I don't think you run much early removal. I don't remember your exact list, but it does mean like are my little sure? one guys are. You'd be surprised. Just wait. Just wait. But like turn one, turn two removal, right? I I don't seem to remember much of it in your deck, which means I can chuck down my Alpinis and uh, and I can just start growing. Look, growth. Like growth pills or something. You know? Um, well... Which I've, I I heard from a friend they don't work. Yeah, from a friend. Yeah. Exactly. I heard from a friend they don't work. We all know you tested them yourself. <clears throat> mm. No, no, a friend told me they don't work. Yeah. Um, oh god, that was painful. Yeah. All I need is a winter warfare. Yeah, I better start uh, making some backup alpine units. Let's make some more. Man, I remember when these Geberg Pioneers dropped and they were they were all the craze when they came out. Oh great. I mean you see them even in Jagger, right? Like... I mean yeah, it was every deck, control decks were running it and it was pretty much anything that could uh that could fit it in was running it. It was just it felt like ramp on, on turn one, which is not really something we see in cards. Uh, yeah. I know yeah. we have uh sort of like observer core which is essentially ramp on turn one but it's it's not really the same it's a bit different um that's a lot of units it'd be uh a shame if be a shame if i was to draw off killing them mm. like although i am i am slightly uncertain about the long term the enemy is at the gate. What do you mean? What AOE have you got coming? Oh, oh just the God. just the the basic at all costs. Oh yeah, the basic at all costs, just ripping up my board. That's Thank like you. the backbone of the stack. Yeah. Oh wait, uh, shout out to my man from the Chinese community, Brimstone Serial, um, who sort of like not invented exactly, but gave me a push towards making this stack. Oh yeah? yeah, yeah. I mean, you, like you the... brought this deck to uh, quite successfully to OCC qualifiers and uh, beat some very strong players, if I remember correct. So it's uh, not yeah, completely when... terrible. It's just mildly terrible. <laughs> uh, to be fair, it went through a lot of changes. So um, I. Decide, like I was running minority recruits, a card that I always call minority reporting. Like I don't know why. Um, yeah, it's just um, I had to remove minority reports because it wasn't working in the end. Like I once stole a king tiger, and that was probably the highlight of um, yeah the card. But then I decided to go with 270 seconds and red banner instead. No, I, I think that's a uh, a sensible decision to make, to yeah, say the least. That's a safe play. I'm going to smash you in the face for a bunch of damage. Alright, okay. So, if you had to be any card, which card would you be? And you, you can't say Golden Signal. I knew it. I fucking knew it. You, you have to be um, any card from cards, what would you be? Uh, that's a good question. I feel like I, I might be Leopold because I'm big uh, and when I enter the room everyone knows. 
and no, usually no. leaves as well. And everyone. <laughs> when I enter the, the room, yeah. everyone yeah. leaves. I mean, there's not really a counter argument you can bring to the, to the table against the vehicle, right? Exactly. Yeah. I I enter and people you, go, oh, this guy, not leave. not this guy again, and um, they just generally leave the room on the spot. Um. So I I feel like I would be Leopold. But I mean, there's if a I lot was, of options. That's a that's a tough decision because if I was a card, I'd probably, I'd probably go with um, the honey, right? Because everyone likes to smash me. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> what? And what you're know. you're small or got a small okay, body? Let, let let me reconsider. Um, okay, let me first make this play. Right, I think. Oh, by the way, Fall Glory is, am is amazing. It's an amazing card. Yeah. The 2k Leopold Killer. Wow. You know how I've been bouncing your stuff a lot. Yeah, yeah, I know. And I think that wasn't the last time. Yeah, okay. That guy, that guy isn't sticking. Well, GG. So, Bubbles, as for the question you asked, like, I have to reconsider because who wants to be a honey if you can be a 272nd card, you know? You lay hand on me and my older brother's gonna fuck you up. Simple as that. I think... <laughs> I think it says a lot about you, Red Sun, that you'd rather be the, uh, the guard that spawns the IS-2 rather than just being the IS-2 itself. <sighs> You're like... Yeah. I could be the IS-2, or I could be the, the smaller guard that's overshadowed by the IS-2. And my, oh, okay. my buddy could be the IS-2. Let me reconsider. I like to be the IS-2 then. You're absolutely right. I just... <laughs> I like this. I admire the self-confidence to uh, to not be the good unit and to instead be the little guy that uh, that spawns in the good unit. Yeah, I mean, after all, the 272nd is not that little. Like, it's oh no, he's pretty, he's certainly... he's pretty stacked. Like, yeah, yeah. And look at that smile. The ice too doesn't have a smile like that. Look at that smile. smile that means you've got him in hand. <laughs> no one would say look at that smile if they didn't have him in hand. Exactly. I'm on to you. Hmm. Hmm, the confusion trade. Oh, I predicted that. I'm like a soothsayer, but I mean, you're going to overdraw now, so. Yeah, let's Ooh. just hope it's not going to be the 270 seconds. Oh, look at that. Dude, is Alpine going to become the next meta? Should I save the confusion? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, um... Let me set this up real quick. Hayabusa. Mm. Okay. Oh. You're gonna encircle me. No, but I do feel like that Hayabusa needs to die. Like, how am I supposed to use my at all costs now? Well, thanks for nothing, Bubbles. Thank you for nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's why I'm here. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, I don't want to bounce team. that. I mean, you can. Yeah, but I don't want to. Go I'm ahead. just gonna. Please. I'm just gonna increase statage. You know, the statage oh, grows. Oh, you know, yeah. you know why alpine guys get so big, right? Because they eat nutritious foods. No, it's all them hills they climb up. Yeah. Like, can yeah. can you expect them to be anything but buff? They're just walking up and down, like, mountains all day. That's all they do, right? It's no, uh, it's no surprise that they're so, like, strong. Um, mm. physically, at least. Ooh. I mean... I think... I think I'll say goodbye to that one. They're doing the Geburg's workout. Exactly, the uh, the classic German workout. The classic German I think <clears throat> I think that's what Spooz does to stay so in shape, you know. Hmm. 
I mean, I won't, I won't reveal too much. Um, but when me and him were uh, were in Iceland, we, uh, you know, we took some clothes off. We we showed each other <laughs> some stuff. Are you sure you you're like <laughs> okay? Go ahead. And go ahead. Uh, yeah, he's in good shape. I can confirm he's in good shape. Okay, that's um. Oh, That's an interesting glory. spooze fact here. Interesting spooze fact. He is in good shape. Um. <clears throat> yeah. I also heard that um, you've been to a certain museum there. Yeah, the... Uh... Oof. Well, it's certainly a museum. Oh, no. Oh, no. How much is this? Good lord. Oh. Then again, you are just going to heal for eight again. Oh no, sorry, six again. Hmm. Man, I, I feel like you just need to, to give yourself like a 30 second breathing window against me and you're fine. Just so far, so far it's not been happening. I gotta clear this. That's a pretty good clear. Yeah, but I mean, I can deploy more guards, but he's just gonna bounce them. That's the issue. I certainly will. Uh, that guy. Little Hanko. Oh, I have a decision. I'll do this way. I'm sure I'll hear in the comments about how wrong I am. Um, but. You know, it's it's difficult when playing out when you have to make these decisions. You know what I'd really like to have happen is... Are you, are you familiar with the Spooz effect? The Spooz effect? The Spooz no. effect. Are you not familiar with this phenomenon? No. First time I heard so, about the Spooz effect. It turns out that whatever Spooz does and whatever Spooz plays massively affects what is played on ladder, um, especially oh. at, like, the medium ranks um no offense to those that are in the medium ranks i i more mean like the not top 10 ranks um and yeah it, it appears that uh oh my lord it appears to be that the the player base is very much affected by what spooze plays and I mean, uh, he's he's uh one of the biggest no he's actually the biggest content content creator we have in the community right I would certainly say so, yes. Numbers wise. Oh, I feel like I've already made a mistake. Ah. Oh. By challenging me, yeah. No, I, I feel like I had a better out. Um using cards in, in in an interesting creative combination uh compared to what I actually did. But mm. I can try for it now, in theory. Depending on what this you do. Seem all too bad here. Okay, so I know I feel like I'm breaking all the golden rules, but I am going to Leopold into double Yosef Stalin. <laughs> but now it's I'm gonna push front line and I'm gonna stop it's... one of them being able to do any damage. It's fine and... because I got lethal anyway, so what do you mean you have lethal anyways? That was like an awesome... <laughs> oh, for God's sake. 1-1 one, one there. GG bubbles, yeah. GG. Game free. <laughs> so the last time we recorded, we were like 1-1 um, one, one, and we were fighting the old deciding match uh, about like who gets to claim ownership over the Pacific Ocean, the entire Pacific Ocean. Yep. So, uh, what are we, what are we fighting for this time? Oh, it's it's Germany versus uh, versus the Soviets, and I believe Italy did actually help uh, a little bit in that uh, that front. Um, I believe they did actually send some units over there, so I suppose we're fighting for a good chunk of the eastern front. But what I'm really fighting for is. Uh, not 
being beaten by you two times in a row on a YouTube channel. Um, that's what I'm mainly fighting for. I don't so much mind about territorial gain or, or anything like that. I just don't want to have to, uh, to start counting my losses up against my wins like this. Because I, I feel like it's... Uh, I feel like it's getting a little bit out of hand and really it's not a good look for me you know I, I I would like to be able to say I beat Red Sun consistently um but the YouTube channel may be starting to disagree so that that's what I'm mainly fighting for personally is uh it is beating Red Sun you're doing just fine even if you lose like the community will still love you trust me <laughs> Yeah, but I won't love myself. I've, I've been streaming for almost two years, losing so many games, making so many misplays, and the people seem to enjoy it still. I'm not I'm not concerned about the people's love for me. I'm concerned about my love for myself, Red Sun. This is this is a matter of, of self respect here. I I can't take any more hits like this. You know, I've been <laughs> I've been running on empty as it is, losing to you. Oh god, this is oh, gonna sound on. so bad. Losing to you would be the final straw. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but <laughs> yeah, I think there's no way around. Oh god. There's no way around that. <laughs> um not in a rude way. <laughs> not not to just be rude. When I, just when I thought I had a pretty good starting hand. It all seems to be, you know, turning against me. What is this? Cannot make any plays next turn. Not really. Um, Ooh. I don't want to give you that trade, really. Yeah, I, I don't mean it in a bad way that um that losing to you would be the most soul-crushing thing of my cards career. Ah, uh, no, I I don't mean that to bring you down at all. I'm already I'm already at rock bottom after like this weekend's qualifiers. Trust me, that, that... Yeah, was it a rough time? Just, yeah, it was a rough time. I had my Comet and my 9k research this card. Oof. That was like one of the most painful qualifiers experience, experiences I ever made. That, yeah, uh, but... that does sound pretty painful, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But it and happens to all you, of us. Uh, then you have to sit here and listen to me rip into you about how tragic it'd be if I lost to you. <laughs> Legend has it that we will have the rematch um, for this match in the next qualifiers. Are you going for OCC this month? I don't know. I uh, I like to tell people I'm busy because um, it makes it sound like I've got a lot going on. And it, 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 in reality, it makes it sound like <laughs> I'm doing some really important things. So I'll, I'll probably end up being busy, to be honest. <laughs> Um, I, I'm usually quite busy the moment I start losing and I can't be bothered to play anymore. Then I usually become super busy in life. It's it's a really interesting coincidence that, isn't it? It is, and somebody should investigate. Yeah. I mean, some people would say that I'm just getting ragey that I've lost and, and just sort of... Uh, not dealing with my emotions in a very good way. Some people would say the sort of the things and the the way I I um well let's just say attacking strangers in the street has been criticised as a coping mechanism. But the attacking way I strangers. the way I see it is is better than attacking someone I know. Yeah, I mean strangers, you know, you see them once in your life and then you never. Usually, never see them again. Exactly. You know? it, it's until like... until the until the core date, of course. Yes, but that's assuming I show up to that. Yeah, that's that's right, of course. I mean, they can't make me go. I'm I'm under no legal ob obligation to go to court um, for my right. many charges um, for losing ladder points on cards. <laughs> How do you explain? How are you gonna explain that to the judges? Though? I'm like, just gonna have to gonna hope just... the the judge is a gamer. You gonna you gonna stand there and just be like, 
Have you ever played cards and have you ever lost like 19 points on ladder? <laughs> you know what this feels like? Oh, I'm sorry, Red. It's okay. I, I think... <laughs> uh... right. Well, hold on. I can BM right. you a little bit here. Okay, maybe it'll backfire. Who knows? <laughs> oh no, wait. You haven't attacked with a... Have you? No, I uh, haven't. Uh, I'm just act roping nine, you. Act, act nine, act nine. Okay. Little, uh, um, little bit of rope there. You ah, God. Thank you for the game, any, Red. I didn't uh, pack any toxic emotes for the Soviets, got that. No, I, I feel like 1-1. Uh, one, one, you know, you won the first one, I won mm -hmm. the second one. This means we have a, a third Bubbles versus Red Sun coming. Exactly. Um, and then after we've after we've finally settled who is the uh, the worst cards player, I'd usually say the better cards player, but I think in our instance it's who's the worst cards player. <laughs> uh, after we've finally settled that, maybe we can play some other opponents, but we're going to have to yeah. do one more series. Yeah, we have to. We have to. All right, GG. All right, GG's. GG's, Bubs.